Hello everyone, Shadow Mario 41 here. Welcome back. Let's play Sim City with infinite money. Yeah, we're playing some Sim City with infinite money. <laughs> I actually wanted to um to uh, talk about the user comments that you got by guys have been given. Um, I try to respond to some of them if I can, but you have to understand that they're. I mean, I not that I'm. I'm not ignoring you. Is what, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't just because like I don't reply to your comment or I don't or I don't you know mention it in a video. Don't think that I don't read it. I read everything that gets posted, and some of them really make me laugh, and some of them you know it's like oh that's really interesting, like especially the one about the jobs that I had two videos ago I think. Um, about what job you do. I thought that was really interesting what some of the replies were. Some of them I, I didn't expect at all. Kind of expect, expected a lot of, um, a lot of sort of like teenage jobs, you know, summer jobs and stuff like that. Like minimum wage type of jobs. But I actually got some pretty, pretty interesting things that my viewers are doing. So props to you guys for doing interesting stuff. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be doing something interesting someday. I actually looked into, um, I'm not having that. Well, ooh, this is becoming an upper. Nice. Well, I'm a computer science major right now, if you didn't know that. Studying to get my Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. And I actually looked into becoming a game tester. Now, <laughs> I'm sure in the credits of the video games you see game tested by or testers or whatever. And it's like, that's such a surreal job because you can't just get paid to play video games all day and point out problems. You can't do that. But actually what you what you do is you have to, you do, the, you play video games all day pretty much, but you have to point out problems and know how to fix them. Know how to reprogram it to fix it. And that's, I think, um, that would be really cool if I could, if I could eventually become something like that. Especially for a big name company. I'm not like shooting for Nintendo or anything, but like, um, one of my friends, we were talking about the same subject. And he said he was he was looking into Lucas Arts, which would be really awesome because they do uh, Star Wars and all that. I think, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then um, someone else. I was. And then we we brought up um, Hudson Soft, which is another which would be another good company to get involved with. And you know, there's a lot of good uh, Ubisoft. There's a lot of good third-party companies out there. Capcom. Capcom would be wonderful. But um, so yeah, that would be really cool. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm reluctant to set my expectations that high because because I think that I would be really disappointed if I didn't meet them. And I don't want to do that to myself. Like, I don't want to set an impossible goal. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, you know? Because, I mean, it's one thing to say, I want to be this when I grow up. Like, I want to be... Like, right now... My expectation is I want to be some, something in the field of computers, whether it's like an IT person or um, a software programmer or a designer or whatever, but I'm not setting any specific goal because I feel, I feel as if I, didn't, if I didn't get it, I'd be like really bummed out about it. And I don't want to set an impossible expectation. Maybe, it, maybe as I advance further in my studies, I am only a college freshman right now, but as I advance further, maybe that'll change, but I don't know. So I'm going to throw out my user question very quickly. I'm going to say, what is your dream job? If you had to do a job, or, or yeah, if you had to do a job for the rest of your life, or if what are you studying to be? What, you know, what would it be? I guess that was really bad English. That was improper English. But that's why I'm not an English major. <laughs> so, let's examine our city here for a second. We do have to... I almost forgot about this. But we have to put our outer ring of commercial zones here. I don't know how I could forget. Let's connect this with a bridge. Yeah, we have to, we have to do this. Nope. Wait a minute. Did I leave enough room? Can't tell. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it. I know I left enough room there. Yeah, I'm one short there. Uh, bulldozer. Oh, Mr. Bulldozer. Okay. And we'll keep going like this. All the way to the top. 
Look at all that money just draining away. And very nice. And of course we gotta close it off there. Close it off here. I don't know what the hell is gonna go here. I guess the commercial zone is in park. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna put a fire HQ here. Actually, you know what I could do? Here's what I could do. I think I could maybe fit a stadium here. Which would probably be a nice fit. So let me bulldoze this road for a sec. Oh no, I bulldozed my part. Oh no. Was that a tree? I want a tree. Hey, okay. Can I fit a stadium here? I can fit it there. Actually, it looks like a pretty good fit. Oh, there's a railroad in the way. <laughs> Go away. Let me build my stadium. Yeah, that actually looks like a pretty good spot. So, stadium. Yeah, good people. Cheer. Cheer for me. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to arrange this road, though. This road's going to be tricky. Actually, no, I'm just going to... I'm going to, um... Bulldozer. Wait, I'm just going to get rid of this. That looks weird, though, doesn't it? Damn. Oh, well, that's fine. I can just go... It can be like a pier. Just a road that goes into the water. That's fine. Give it some power. Nice. That's that's pretty good. I like that. And it's connected by roads, so it's good. Three trees. Let me bulldoze the coast, which you can do for whatever reason. Just to see how much room I have. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And let's build some commercial zones, shall we? Indeed, we shall. What do we have for gifts? Nothing that I want to use right now. Let's build two commercials. Do we really need a police? I feel as if we do. No, 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 because we can just put it... We can just put it here. I don't want to put an HQ there or anything because... I don't think I'm going to continue to expand this way. But if I do continue to expand that way, I'll probably replace this with something better. I don't know. But for now, that's fine. That's pretty good. Uh, so... Let me bulldoze this again. This, I hate this. But yeah, thanks to our school here, we actually, or not our school, our library, we actually salvaged some pretty decent residential zones, so that's pretty awesome. We didn't get, because this, this can easily become populated with lows up here. Because really, there's not much value to living up here. There's nothing close. Like, it's just, it's just a, a it's like the suburbs. And this is like the downtown. This looks, it's like Central Park right here the best analogy I can come up with. Um, how much time do I have? Plenty of time. I want to talk about, well, I want to talk about the future of this project, but I think I'm going to save that because I'm going to talk about that later. I can talk about that in the next video. I don't really have to get into that now. How do I form, format this up here? Okay, I, I have to make sure I stay consistent. We can go all the way to the top. Okay, cool. Just making sure all my stuff is shaped properly. Keeping consistent. No, that's not good. I don't know how well these commercial zones will do. They'll probably be horrible. But I tried to put them near a stadium, so they might they might be somewhat decent. But this is a low right now, so meh. Meh. That's my verdict. I don't want a low residential zone. This is just going to give me a low. Ugh. Hate lows. They look so ugly, too. It's not even just that they're unproductive. Not, 
is unproductive a word, I guess. Anyway, it's not even just that. It's that they're ugly. They look like a blemish on your on your city. It's awful. It is awful. Definitely looking forward to expanding down here, though. This is going to be really awesome. Let's see. We have about 30 seconds. Let's see what Dr. Wright has to say. Housing costs. The residents of the city are complaining about housing costs. It probably means that the land value is very low. Too high. Or they're too far from commercial zones. Screw you. You don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, yeah, I have to go. So, this is Shadow Mario 41. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play SimCity with Infinite Money. See you guys next time. Ciao.